What is going on, governors? Chisco here. And today, holy smokes, we're back. Kind of. Now we're back. There we go. How's it going, everybody? Bunch of cool stuff to do today. Maybe there's a Kingsland fight we can spectate? Question mark. I'm hearing that maybe there won't be one. But in the very least, I was going to stream either way today to do the Holy Knight's Treasure. So let's get her done, baby. Yo, Nate Brown. Welcome to the Honor Guard, dude. I appreciate you, man. Finally, a Chiskel stream. Let's go. Big shout out to members and moderators. Mike, Tony. What's up? KL Squared. Nate, appreciate you joining the Honor Guard. And Nino, what's up, dude? Um, you know what's funny? The thumbnail has the wrong kingdom listed. And a couple people left sarcastic comments. Who is 2490? And someone said, damn, didn't know 2490 is joining. So I looked at my title, and my title was correct. I looked at my description, and that was correct. Didn't look at my thumbnail. Thumbnail had the error. So if you actually want to be helpful, the thing to say is... Did you know your thumbnail has the wrong kingdom listed? That's actually helpful. Just so you know. <laughs> uh, GG. But then Discord is as dumb as can be about this kind of stuff. So they're like, we see that w you made your thumbnail yesterday. We assume you've not changed it. So when I post in Discord, it's now got the wrong kingdom number listed. There's nothing I can do about it. Also, Discord does this really weird, dumb thing where they're like, this isn't the first time we've seen this live stream. I don't know how they do this. But when you clone an existing live stream, which is the way I make all my live streams, by the way. I don't know if you're interested in any of this. You just let me know, chat. Is this boring? But when you when you make a live stream on YouTube, the thing that you do is you... What I do to save time is I clone an existing stream, make a few changes, rather than like have to do all the stupid settings all over again. But when you do that and you clone one, Discord is like, somehow they know that you cloned it and they shrink what they show for the thumbnail in Discord. I don't know why they do it. They've been doing it for years. They must never talk to YouTube streamers or care about YouTube streamers because that's always the way it's been. And I don't know that it's ever going to change. GG. Um, so let's jump in game, actually. <laughs> Enough complaining. <laughs> Let's play the game. Damn you. Game. I'm not even mad at the game, actually. That's like a damn you Discord thing. TBH. All right. Let's get it going. Oh, Gordy now says, Hey, Chiss, you know your thumbnail is the wrong kingdom listed? Thank you. Yes, I am now... Very well aware. Um, let's check in with Boudica. What what emoji can I get with her? Animated. Actually, the way to see this will be over here. The faster way. Emojis. Do I already have this emoji? The let's go emoji? I don't know if I care. Do I even care? I have a shitload of these apples. Like, you can see how little interest I have in the dialogues with the commanders. I don't even want to click them, even though they'll give me loot. Like, I'm so uninterested in the dialogues. Just, you just run around with your exclamation points. I literally don't want to talk to you. <laughs> Not you, Chad. I'm talking about these guys. Look, I don't want to talk to her. I don't want to talk to any of them. Ooh, Ishida? Actually, no way. Hey, yo, let's chat, broski. His sips tea emoji? I actually want that. No cap. I actually want that. Cheetah good. Will you stream some Age of Empires mobile? Uh, to be determined. To be determined. Very candidly. Very, very candidly. Um, I would love to have them sponsor some vids. That would be sweet. 
But I don't know what that's going to look like. TBH, I'd kind of love for them to sponsor me to, to like, run a group, you know? That'd be really dope. Are we really going to see Kingsland fights? Uh, probably not. Maybe they'll just take the pass for rewards. I saw they were building forts at the pass, so, like, I genuinely thought maybe they're going to go for this. But I'm not so sure. What about Age of Empires Mobile? I don't understand how a non-disclosure with Lilith could be a problem. I don't think that's how non-disclosures work. So yeah, they were building forts over here last night. So I assumed they were going to take this pass. But they may not even enter Kingsland. We got 10 minutes. Best way to farm arrows of resistance is to just hit barbs. Looks like, I mean, I don't know if they even bothered to take out the fort, which is kind of interesting. God dang, everybody's got that new city theme. You want to see the commanders? In Age of Empires Mobile? Yeah, that's something I could potentially do. All these forts are full health. I, I wonder what that's about. Like, do they just kind of feel like they're going to loop around anyways and come in through one of these passes so it doesn't matter? Maybe that's what that is. Oh, and they did break through over here. They're building a flag and but balling up over here. Didn't follow this KVK. Why will there be no Kingsland? For those of you just tuning in, the issue is that 1175 bowed out and they were like, now nah, we ain't about that. Was Black Panther, is that actually you, bro? That is that Black Panther actual? Um, friend me on Discord if we aren't friends already and just confirm real quick that that's actually you. Can it make you a mod? So, to be fair, basically, um, 1175 is kind of like, hey, look, these teams make no sense and we're not going to have a part of it. They did fight initially in this zone. I didn't see what that looked like, but when it came to continuing with the KVK, they were like, nah, bro, we out. Straight up, we out. And, you know, one way to think about that is maybe they just wanted to get their 30 mil kills, you know? get their conquest coin. Like you really need to get the conquest coin every time, as many as you can. Um, I would almost even argue that the rewards are too important right now. Like if we trace what's going on here all the way back to source, I think KVK rewards are actually too important. They're, they're actually too important. So, there's, there is actually very good incentive and reason to create wins. There just is. Um, it, it just is what it is. Like, the legendary inscriptions and the conquest coins right now are worth a ton to a lot of people. So, I'm not saying that that's why 365 and 2489 allied. I believe that the reason they were looking to ally is just because they had allied and knew each other in the past. But when they allied up, you know, both 846 and 1175 kind of said, hey, that's not really a fair ally situation. And look, I'm not in the middle of all this. I'm just kind of sharing what I understand to be true. Um, So... 
846 and their allies in their zone here. Uh, 1316 is in the zone with them. Do they still own this zone? Looks like they do. So they, they've been erring on the side of fighting, and 1175 just kind of bowed out. The issue with bowing out for 1175 is that, like, it's just hard to get allies when, like, one side says we're still fighting and the other side's like, yeah, we're bowing out. I don't know, man. We don't want that zone five. Yeah, F that zone five. F that zone five in particular. <laughs> Show my troop count. Sure. How you doing, Mozzie? I know this is a sensitive topic, but when do you assume we're going to get leaks for new cavalry? So I can't deal in leaks. I don't know if there will be leaks. I think the developer's strategy to prevent leaking is now to just release the information themselves. So I would expect it like in the next week or two, honestly, we should get information from the devs about calves, I would think. I hope 365 and 489 are going to 1v1 in Kingsland for fun. I actually do think that's on the table as a possibility. I do think that's on the table as a possibility. My kingdom is going through switching king and the king doesn't want to switch. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Drama. Yeah, at that point, it's not a leak. It's just information from Lilith themselves. 100% correct. Yes. Yes, indeed, my friends. Four minutes here. Imperium's got to lose power somehow. Yeah, no, the most dangerous thing for 365 and 2489 is like actually not losing power. I mean, they'll have to immediately queue for a KVK. Like they have to go first pop. And that assumes they can even drop for a migration. I have no clue. But like... It, being a high power kingdom in this game is just in a very, very, very weird place. It's just very weird, man. Are they going to take this pass as well? Oh, 2489 be like, nah, bro, we taking that pass. And that's what they were probably balling up for, chat. Remember when I was like, they're balling over here, but the flag is over there? <laughs> That's probably because they're walking up to this pass to make sure they can take it. Anything going on over here? New Cav Commander's probably going to be balling. You were in KVK2 and lost, but you migrated back to KVK1. Maybe they'll queue with 1960, chat says. So hyped for the new Cav, been saving for months, gathered enough heads to insta max, and I still have growth fund to spend. Um, so I feel like, and keep me honest here, chat, one of the best aspects of the game is when you can future save. Like you can save for a future meta. Do you agree? The ability to, if you wanted, insta max a new commander, is that very rewarding? I'll start a poll. The Spartan! Hey, welcome to the Honor Guard, dude. I appreciate you. Let's get some hype emojis for the Spartan. New member of the channel. Holy smokes. 90% of people 
find it rewarding that you can save for a future meta. Now, now over 90. <laughs> I feel like some people just use one march and they always max new meta and always fight like bitches. <laughs> yeah, well, probably true. Dopamine says hello QQ. I prefer grinding gems and going for wheels. Save universals for the new meta. Yeah, I mean, obviously, like, if you have a KVK, like, you do different things. Right? Like, if you're about to fight, then, like, okay, we're maxing a commander. I feel like the YSG incense emoji has never been more appropriate. I also play Infinity Kingdom, and I don't have the ability to future save. Very frustrating. I don't know why I said future save. I apologize. I've called it, like, board investing or investing in future metas. The language of my, on my part is so imprecise. It's very frustrating. Much, much better to be able to. Yeah, I completely agree. I feel like the devs may or may not realize how fun that is for players. The fact that like you can save and be rewarded for it is just like massive, man. I don't know if they're even buffing their own marches here. They're just swarming. I wonder if Joan is actually the play on that swarm. Like, I would think Nevsky Joan is not the play. I would think Huo Nevsky would be better. Also, I don't know if these guys in Whip, do they know they're kind of on the clock here? Like, yeah, yeah, they're like, hey, yo, broski, you, y'all, if you're gonna do this, you're on the clock, man. Like, you can't stand out here and then not expect this to happen. They're just standing. I guess they, they're running a rally. But, like, they needed to just swarm it and win it in less than 60 seconds. Civil War is cringe. Okay, let me ask a question. Do you think the ability to Civil War in ROK is healthy for the game? Yeah, dude, Diesel's like, bro, what are we doing? We got to take this. If we're going to take it, we got to take it. They're on the clock for this, man. Like, you either take this or they're going to ball up and not let you take it. So I don't know why they're trying to wait. Look how fast it's dropping. Like, that's what you need to do, man. But someone's got to clear this field or they're going to get rolled. This dude who is coming in to fight, like, needs to just hit the pass marches, man. If they want to grief, anyways. Yeah, there we, there we go. I think they're just hitting the pass marches. Yeah, if you want to grief, that's what you do. Civil War is bad for the kingdom, but good for the game. All right, y'all got to talk about that. Bad for the kingdom, but good for the game? Talk to me. Share with me more details, y'all. How is Civil War good if people will leave that kingdom and go to another, chat says. Um, yeah, I'll show kingdom rankings. Every single kingdom has to have one in their lifetime. Entertainment. 
when will you make a video of why Joan Prime should be primary? So the only reason I haven't is that I'm trying to see if Cortex will maybe make some videos for the channel. And since I learned this from him, I'm kind of hoping he'll make a vid about it and we'll put that on the channel. But the short version is that Cortex had done a bunch of testing and the conclusion of his testing was that you actually get a better result potentially with the Joan. All right, they did get a pass, but I don't think they're getting this one. <laughs> uh, I don't think they're getting, oh, what? Hold up. Hey, yo, hold up. Wait a minute. Hey, yo, okay. Hold up. Dude, how is this a full France rally? Like, I'm actually asking how that is 100% France in that rally. That is 100% throwing Axemen in that rally, bro. 100% throwing Axemen. Hey, yo, huh? What? What's going on here? France is just better? Most spenders would say otherwise. They would say, I'll buy as many speed ups as I need, son. I'd rather have the march speed and skill damage. Farms, chat says. But those were T5s, weren't they? Like, Andy, I agree with you. 100% farms, but also, was that all T5 from farms? I went France, this KVK2, RSS is struggling, but speeds are gone, dang. They were T4s, maybe they were T4s and I just, I thought I saw gold in their chat. I don't know. They look like a golden company to me. You can have T4, T5 farms pretty easily. Yeah, I guess in a big enough kingdom you can do that. I avoided T5s on my farm. Man, I don't got the gold for that. Why else would you have France? I mean... God dang, T5 infantry from farms. I feel like I've seen it all. France is purely for heals. Troop health buff is only 3%. Hey, yo, I'll take it. All right, here's a question, chat. Would ROK, ROK be better? If players could not be rallied, swarmed, and zeroed. AKA, no attacking player cities. Holy unanimous. I have never seen my chat be so united about anything.
Okay, now it's less less unanimous now. All the people who got zeroed are chiming in. They're like, hey, yo, hold up. Is Kingsland over? I guess so. Chat. Low key. Um, we can go and spin uh, the egg event. Zeroing cities is so fun. But like, in order to zero cities, there must also be a person being zeroed, right? Chad says, still waiting for my zero. I've never been zeroed. The only time I technically got zeroed was in Call of Dragons. And and technically, I wasn't even playing the account at that point. It was uh, not my main account. It was the beta test account. And there was some stupid civil war. <laughs> On the topic of civil wars. It's funny. I didn't even realize that that's technically what that was. There was some stupid civil war. Territory was suddenly disconnected and GG, there it was. And I got a video out of it, which was pretty cool. Okay, now chat's not so unanimous. All right, hey, yo, let's um, do some Holy Night, bro. I already spun 92 yesterday because, you know, pay to win, got to pay to win over here. But we can do another 90 today. Technically 92. Ekramabi tried to zero you in KVK2 on his farm. Bro, isn't Ekramabi's farm like 500 million power or 400 million power? If you got zeroed, would you restart or rebuild? Oh, rebuild for show. Sure. You just rebuild, bro. Dude, the troops are a lot less expensive than this equipment. Pretty sure that the troops are massively less expensive than the equipment and armaments and commanders that are here, you know? Not even close. Not even the same universe. You rebuild, son. Most vids are free to play friendly. Would you make a vid? Whales and Krakens only? I feel like that illustrates like a really funny thing about YouTubing, which is that for every opinion, there's an equal and opposite opinion. I get plenty of people that send me messages that are like, bro, your videos are too pay to win focused. How dare you not think of us F2Ps over here. And then the pay to wins are like, make your videos more pay to win focused, please. <laughs> Just is what it is. Um, right. So this piece of equipment. I got 12. All right. I got 12 frags. We chilling. We chilling. I don't have to worry about overage really. Why would you use a horn and ring for Skippy Liu Cha? Oh, would you use horn and ring or ring and dagger? Yeah, no, I I think that's a great place for horn and ring. Um, honestly, I put my dagger on calves because they're faster and more likely to stay connected. I don't know if I'll do that forever, but. Here's the only pay to win guide you'll ever need. Just stop caring and spend. Bruh. Hey, yo. Um, we should keep track of stuff, don't you think? I feel like we should. Get my epic counter up. It's been a minute since I ran one of these. One epic, zero legends. All right. Let's we'll see how we do, chat. Get that duck squeaker ready. True. I mean, oh, Jesus. 
Hey, yo. What a duck squeaker of a moment right there. Research speeds. Dude, imagine events still have research and building speeds in 2024. God dang it. How is that still a thing? Uh, four epics. Very poggers. That's four epics total. Three from that. 1079 Kingsland is actually open. Oh, dang. All right, let's do a few pulls here, and then we'll go look. I didn't think that was till later in the day. We can go look at a, uh, a KVK with some real fighting. Holy cow, I'm getting rolled. That's 10 pulls with no anything? GG. Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo. Does that make up for a chat? Are you going to do some AOE? No, I don't think so. At the end of the stream. Um, double Kingsland stream, chat says. Three more epics. Very poggers. There we go. Five epics. Now we're talking. Up to a lucky 13. Best accessory for egg before SOC. Uh, I think getting a dagger is a good play, man. Dagger is good. Dagger is uh, the play. That's what you're going to do. Uh, you could argue for greatest glory, actually. Both Dagger and Greatest Glory are legit options. It all depends on whether or not you want to move in on the Arch. Uh, normal attack, smite meta, if you think that will continue to be a thing. It's very hard to know. It's just so hard to know. Two epics. I feel like this is one of the worst, the, one of the literal worst pulls I've ever had for this. This has to be literally some of the worst pulls I have ever had. So it's good that we're writing it down because we. Oh, and then it, and then that happened. I still I still feel the way I feel. Um, so now we need to switch. Now we need to switch because I have twenty two blueprints. I can finish that off with universals, you know? Do we think new calves will be smite? Bro, that's hard to know. Did you edit 808 quit? No, last I heard, holy smokes. Dude, we're making up for it in legendaries now. Last I heard, Yoda 808 is intending to come back and very much looking forward to that when he does. But he's just got some real life stuff that it, it takes prio. I should have warmed up my duck quacker because I am getting really quacked over here. Holy cow. Okay. 16 legends and 18 epics. This is the lowest number of epic materials I have ever gotten from this, I feel. Like, it's actually shocking. Um, better, I guess. It's still, like, below rate. Like, if we do the math on the value that I'm getting, this is actually just, like, really shocking. Um, let's see here. It is 90 divided by 5 divide, uh, times 2,400. So we're looking at 43,000 gems. Technically 43,200 gems, all right? And if we divide that by 600, which is the price of an epic material, you would expect to get 72 epic materials. So we're nowhere near that. But if instead we say, well, hold on. That's the wrong way to think about it. 21 epic crates times 600 is 12,600 gems of value in epic crates. Plus, you could say 1,500 gems of value per pattern. So times 16. 
I mean, like maybe when I've done, that's 36,600 gems, combined value. So maybe after these 15 cracks, I will break even on value. This has to be, well, I guess it doesn't include speed ups, but this still has to be about the worst I've ever done. The only thing that could redeem me is like a 10 spot here. But yeah, this is, this is brutal. Yep. This is unequivocally the worst 90 pulls I have ever done. Has to be. Can't even be close. I'm also getting some speed ups. Yeah, so like the value is probably there still, but I don't know what happened with Egg Event, but it's just, I feel like the probabilities listed haven't changed, but I'm just doing way worse. Or did the listed probabilities change? I guess I can tell you the answer to that. Um, let's see here. The ROK toolkit I made ages ago, linked in all my videos, but I don't generally update it anymore. But if you go into the ROK toolkit and you scroll way to the right, one of the things I documented so that we have a record of it and so that I could do calculations was the Holy Knight's treasure. Um, and the probabilities have not changed for the legendary patterns. Um, and the probabilities have not changed for the epics as well. So I think I just got wrecked is what it is. I think it's just one of those situations where sometimes you win and sometimes you get raffle stomps. Ya boy cheese, little raffle stomped right now. Enjoying this rally, make sure that it goes. Uh, okay, chat, okay, okay. Go to these coordinates. I will go. But talk to me about what I'm about to see. Like, coordinate grab bag. I'm way too trusting, quite frankly. I'm way too trusting. This will burn me. One day. Not far away. Hey, yo. Early KVK Pyrrhus up in here. Let's go. Wait, that's Kingsland? Wait, what is this, bro? What KVK is this? Is this Storm of Stratagems? What is this? Altar of Darkness in Kingsland? It has to be... Oh, this is the new KVK-1. Yeah, hey, yo, what the heck? Of course it's KVK-1. What? But, but like... Altars in Kingsland? Hey, yo, what? And you can't build territory yet? That's wacky, bro. That's freaking wild. That is freaking wild, bro. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go check out 1079 Kingsland chat. I don't know if you knew this, but for kingdoms that have multiple domains, you can just hit search over and over and it'll cycle through the domains, which is nice. Isn't Pyrrhus actually better than Charles Martel? I would say different. Like, you wouldn't garrison with Pyrrhus, presumably, right? Certainly for anti-swarm, Charles is kind of goaded. All right, what do we got here, chat? Walk me through it. Looking like a pretty uh, basic entry so far. One, two, three. So this is an eight-pass Kingsland opening. And what kind of KVK is this? I should have looked. What are, we, what are we after here? Tides of War. I liked Tides of War. Tides of War was good, honestly. I thought that this pass fight over here was a little boring. 
Um, and I should have killed off every siege unit I had in a mixed garrison at that point in time, but... Like, the only thing that, that this fight is good for is, like, killing off your siege in that stupid garrison. When will you stream Age of Empires Mobile? To be honest, I don't think I'm going to make a ton of Age of Empires Mobile content. Like, let me run a poll. Let me just run a poll. Let's have you guys decide. Do you want more Age of Empires Mobile content? Yeah, see, I think we're looking at like 60-40, 40% want it, but 60 don't. I think the thing is that like periodic videos showcasing big changes and core game mechanics probably makes sense for me to do. But leading up to a game launch, like, I don't know, most people just don't care. New Cav, Osman Prime. My Kingdom's 2268, and also 2293 is my restart. 1500 and 1079 are in the same camp. They went to go help Fire since they are the weakest camp. Isn't Fire usually the strongest camp? That's probably the same ratio for Call of Dragons also, though. See, see, let me run it this way. Would you prefer that I make a, an additional channel for Age of Empires? Mobile. Rather than... Oh, shoot. That's not a poll. Gosh darn it. I'm just about to type in chat and not make a poll. Okay, would you rather that I make an additional channel for Age of Empires Mobile rather than Main Chan? YouTube limits me to 100 characters in the question, which is why that's kind of short and weird. Make a new restart account. Is Yoda coming with y'all when he comes back? Um, I would love to continue to play with Yoda. Uh, but I don't know what his plans are. I think he plans to come back and play with us. But I, I, I honestly should check in with them. That's a gem. Send him a little message. Greetings from Denmark. What's up, dude? All right. Hey, folks that are in this KVK, where should I be looking? Yoda goes to nineteen sixty. Everybody would have a heart attack. Building flag, baby. Yeah, 
Is this a top versus bottom situation? I think it, this must be a top v bottom situation here. Makote is a 1960 ticket. I feel like Makote has such a huge community. He wouldn't actually ticket somewhere. I feel like, wouldn't he want to go somewhere he brings his community with him? No way, right? What's up, Lord Peter? The good old days? Old NL member. Hey, yo, the... I feel like... Strangely enough... One of the best KVK experiences I ever had... Was when we fought... 2v1 and a bunch of Imperiums ganged up against us. That was peak, man. That was good. Back when kingdoms were actually large kingdoms, you know? Back when it, when any one kingdom had like four alliances and they were considered small. You know? Those were the days. Shit was straight hectic, you know? Those were the days. Oh, shoot. The Epics and Legends counter. Yeah, chat. Why didn't someone say something sooner? Or did I just miss it? My bad. Thank you. Dude, I really need to get another monitor. I, I have only two. I need a third monitor. I need a third monitor here. So, so I have a monitor for gameplay and chat. And then over here, I have my confidence monitor, which is why I look to the side, which is why I need a, another monitor. I need a third monitor. It needs to go here. It needs to be my confidence monitor. And I got Discord over here. I got the YouTube studio over here. I got my audio over here. I got my music over here. But I, I, I absolutely need a third monitor. I got to stop fooling around and... Honestly, I got to change a bunch of things about my setup. First world problems. Do it with an 85 inch TV. Meanwhile, you got one monitor. But most people don't are not trying to do as many things as I'm trying to do. Like when you're streaming, like, like, normally if I was just playing Rise of Kingdoms, like, I need Rise of Kingdoms, I need Discord. Right? Like, what else do I need? But streaming. Oof. I gotta have a browser open for my YouTube studio. I gotta have the streaming software open. I gotta have music stuff open. I gotta audio control open. Yeah, the monitors are cheap. That's not an issue. Show us your setup. I should do that at some point. Honestly, I should just redo the whole stinking studio. Did y'all register for KVK? Yeah, baby. I think we may be fighting 1175. Or not 1175. Gosh darn it. 1875. Maybe. I think they're also queued for this. I mean, I, I don't know if we're fighting them or not. I would assume if we end up in a KVK with them, that we would not ally, but purely to make it competitive. But 2268 has allied with 1875 in the past. So it's possible that we ally them and there are other people to fight. I just don't know enough. Am I sitting or standing? I am standing. I feel like I really should take a chair sponsor, though. Like, if I took a chair sponsor and I finally sat down, like, surely you all would be like, holy shit, Chiskul is sitting in a chair. That has to be a good chair. Chat would lose their mind over a chair, would they not? They'd be like, that must be a, a worthy chair for him to finally sit. You know, the funny thing is that the advantage of constantly standing like this is that when I was on vacation recently 
my wife's family does uh, Disney vacations. So we went to Disney and like your boy Cheese is conditioned to stand, you know? Like I was, I was prepared for that. I was ready. I was ready, ready for standing all day long. Chat said flag swarm imminent. 37 seconds till swarmy swarms. Is the walking pad worth it? A hundred percent it's worth it. If I, honestly, I should debatably be on the walking pad while I stream. I would get so much exercise and I need it. Chat, I need the exercise. Dude, when I'm on vacation, eat it. Whatever food we wanted, I just buy it. We'd eat it. And you know, Disney parks, they basically have like themed food all over the place. View count seems down. Yeah, 100%, bro. There's a lot less viewership for Rise of Kingdoms now. Chunky Chiz? Yeah, I gotta work on that. Truth be told. Gotta, gotta get back down on my fighting weight. The, the graceful description is that I got. I got some serious dad bod going on. Why is ROK viewership down? Uh, I mean, because Ry our Rise of Kingdoms, I think, player base has gotta also be dropping. Not like massively, suddenly or anything, but like, I think there's a definite over, over time decline. Fighting weight, you hide something from us? Well, the, you know, the first rule of Fight Club is we don't talk about Fight Club. Uh, hotel was great. When are you going to fight? Um, so obviously I can't talk about Fight Club, but in game, it looks like if we get a match here, could be as early as like two or three, probably three weeks from now. Turn into Shred Ghoul. Honestly, I kind of feel like that'd be cool to do. To become Shred Ghoul. Here's the thing. Here is the thing. I was listening to a really good YouTube short and the dude, Alex Hormozy, you're gonna hear me talk about him more and more. So I'm just loving his content. But he said something like, if you're spending all your time on a business and the business isn't growing, then you're not spending your time the right way. And it's so interesting because YouTube is a little weird. It's a little different. Like so much of my growth is dependent on the success of this game. Like you can be a terrible YouTuber for a super popular game and still probably get more viewership than I am. <laughs> so like, I don't know. I got to think about how I'm spending my time. I'm like, does it make sense for me to, like, crank more time trying to, you know, get Rise of Kingdoms views that just aren't there? Probably not. Do you have planned OL watch parties? Uh, I, I don't, I wouldn't say that I have planned OL watch parties. But I will definitely do some OL streaming and spectating. Ah, you have a DVC there and can tell from the... I was wondering, I was like, how did you know I was at the Grand Floridian? But you knew what the room looked like. Okay. There it is. 
You could tell from the room I was in. If you win OL, you're going to have to fight 1960. GG. Is 4 mil power in 42 days good? Uh, I would assume you're very low spender or free to play. You ready for no match found at reset? Bro. Hey, Panther, did you message me on Discord? Just to confirm it's you, broski. I want to make you mod. But I always... <laughs> from experience, I've learned I should double check that the person is who they say they are. Alright. Yeah, shoot me that message on Discord, bro. I'll make you moderator. <laughs> You're big into rock. Should you try COD? I'm going to have a video in the next two or three days that uh, answers that question. The short answer is that across many dimensions that I ranked these games on, right now, COD ranks higher than Rock, but they are different. They're very different. Oh, there! now I see the friend request. Okay, there we go. All right, there we go. All right, cool. Let's freaking go. I'm debating whether or not to make a joke. I'm gonna err on the side of not making it, I think. Have Age of Empires Mobile uh, announced an actual release period? Yeah, I think Q4 of 2024. For global. This is the game plan. Is it faster to get into a KVK in COD or Rock? So, in COD, seasons are like 70 plus days long. And in Rock, seasons are like 50 days long. The so seasons are faster in Rock. But I think that your downtime between seasons technically can be shorter in COD. What city skin do you recommend for free to play in the shop in KVK? The 5% skill damage city theme is pretty good, man. Who's winning this KVK? Oh. Really nice territory here. This is a pretty good entry for the group in blue. Otherwise, yeah, I, I feel like the Southern Kingdoms have a slightly better entry, but like not nearly enough to offset uh, how it's going. So what I'm trying to say is that either side could win. Like this is about this is about. The, no side botched the entry in a way that would be like, oh, wow, not recoverable. No, this is like a pretty darn even entry overall. We did get a match. You see the power breakdown? No, I didn't see it. 
But you're saying we're, we're almost certainly going to get a match. Not that, like, we definitely did. I think. What's this? Kingdom list. Oh, kingdom list is kind of cool. Below is a list of kingdoms that are currently... Oh. In the season of conquest. All right. You can mark a kingdom as hostile and we'll try to put them in different camps. That's so funny. Dude, that is so funny. Even if you're infantry? Well, if you're an infantry player, you probably just use a 5% health theme, honestly. Like, don't buy a city theme from the shop if you're infantry. Oh no, there is one now. Isn't there a... a if, if you're an infantry player, I'm pretty sure there's like a 10% infantry defense theme now, right? That's a good pickup. Does Age of Empires Mobile look like it's as pay to win as Rock could be? Um, yeah, I'd get if you're an inf player, you could go for the infantry theme. St. Peter's Basilica, that says. So if Age of like, let me explain this. We don't know if Age of Empires Mobile is gonna have crystal technology. Crystal technology is like a multi-tier jump in pay to winness of a game, right? Because you either pay to win for your crystal tech or you lose to the people that do. And that's your choice. So, like, we don't know if Age of Empires Mobile is going to have crystal tech. If it doesn't, then obviously it's more free to play friendly. Just, just like, it's just a straight up yes, no. Do you have crystal tech? Yes or no. So as of right now, I don't think it has crystal tech. You asked earlier if 10% defense or 5% health is better. Um, I would say generally the defense is better at that rate of a 2 to 1 conversion rate. But it it's technically very nuanced based on what commanders you're using. If you're using commanders that had high health, then definitely the defense is better. If you're using commanders that had super high defense, it's possible the health might be better. But I would generally steer you to the 10% defense as an improvement for sure. Juan Skippy, for example. Yeah, I think the defense is fine. Leo Alex, do you recommend Wedge? I would say Arch is preferred, but Wedge is what I used on my restart because it's what I have. It just is what it is. Which troop is the best for everyone right now? Uh, I think Cavs are always in a good spot, man. They move faster. So it's like really hard to argue with that. Nevsky's good. Joan is good. Huo's good. William has insane utility and we're about to get a new Cav commander. Here comes the rally chat. Um, Yuta, what's going on with those coordinates, dude? Any speculation on what new cav potentially will be? No, the only thing I can say for sure is that we're due for a garrison, right? Like, we got Justinian last year. So we're due for a garrison now. JST past seven. Is anything crazy going on? It's getting lit over there? Really? We can just bookmark this.
Looks like the fort's burning. And they have people pushed all the way back. Simon says, I wish I would get lit. You get a look at the Cav Gloves Iconic at Tier 5. Yeah, nothing going on here. Yeah. Um, yeah, no King's Land for them. The Cav, the Cav Sec Gloves, huh? I haven't actually looked at the set gloves in a while. Perplexing ploy. Whenever the wielder's troop deals skill or smite damage. Oh, so are you suggesting that because it says smite damage, we might get a smite cav commander? That's possible. It is a 10% chance to reduce the target's march speed and can stack up to three times. No worries, Yuda. You're good, bro. So I don't know if y'all were around for a prior stream when I mentioned that I got a smoker. But I got a smoker a while ago. I had these crazy Wi-Fi issues with it, which is really weird. But all that's, I think, resolved now. And I made a brisket. First time making a brisket on the smoker. And it turned out pretty damn good. Texas-style brisket. So the thing is that, like, once you tell a friend that you can make a Texas-style brisket, they want you to cook brisket for them. So I'm going to be firing up the grill. I guess I should say firing up the smoker today to make a Texas-style brisket. And it won't be ready until tomorrow. That's how you know it's good. Pay to win. Oh yeah, smoker is straight up pay to win. It's one of those things though where you get like economy over time. Like I did the math on the break even for the grill. And like because you cook such high quantities of meat when you smoke a full brisket, like I only need to do, only need to do like 20 briskets and I break even compared to buying Texas style brisket at a restaurant. That's really nerdy math, but your boy Cheese over here is super nerdy, and that's why you're here. Lol, 2024 problems. Sorry, hun, can't smoke the brisket tonight. The Wi-Fi's out. Big true. That's ex that's big true right there. As a 2024 problem. Anyways. At some point, I'm going to have to head out and uh, go to Costco, get a brisket here, and start to prep it for tomorrow. Going to do an overnight cook. Why no Kingsland? Um, so 1175 bowed out because they were like, nah, bro, this teaming's unfair. Who's good to pair with Minamoto? So good news for you, I made a dedicated Minamoto video and a dedicated Charles Martel video literally in like the last month or so talking about the pairings. So just do a YouTube search for Chiskul and then the name of the commander. But um, you could do Martel with, as an example, Sun Tzu, Bjorn Ironside, Joan of Arc, ton of good options. Chiskul's third channel for smoking foods. So the reason I was going to talk about brisket and the weirdness of it is that like there are so many opinions on how to make a brisket and they all oppose each other. So there's a bunch of people that'll say you smoke it fat side up and there's a bunch of people that smoke it fat side down. And like literally... Though they it's not like, oh, the equipment is different. They're, they're talking about the exact same smoker. And they're like, yo, you got to do fat side up. And other people are like, you have to do fat side down. 
it's like a religion, man. It's it's not not even religion. It's like a brisket cult. There's actually a brisket cult. I swear to you, it is a cult. You gotta wrap in foil. You gotta wrap a foil boat. You gotta wrap in paper. You don't wrap at all. Like, you use tallow. You spray. You spray with cider vinegar. You don't spray with anything. Like, it's a gosh blessed cult. Brisket philosophy. Brisket pull. Dude. It's crazy. For every opinion, there's an opposite opinion. And there'll be a whole bunch of people who make a whole bunch of videos and say, we did a scientific test and they get opposite results from each other. It's, I don't know what's true. So I just have to figure it out for myself. I just have to figure it out for myself. That's, that's what it is. It's just, your boy Cheese is just going to have to figure it out for himself. And, like, the competition cooks will say, well, this wins competitions, so you think, oh, that should be right. But then the at-home cooks are like, no, the, the competition cooks are optimizing for different shit. You shouldn't follow what they're doing. It's all over the place. Uh, yeah. Quizja, how do you think, um, the KVK was ruined by the domain system? I'm not saying it was or wasn't. I'm, I'm actually just asking which KVK and, and, uh, what was, what's your rationale? You just like, bro, I keep getting rock ads and cod ads. Don't worry, dude. If I talk about brisket enough, maybe you'll get some food ads instead. Oh, 365 second is in there with you. GG. Did they remove AP bottles from the gift you can get in the Alliance Forts? No, I don't think so, bro. Uh, I don't think they did. Did they? Chat, you still get AP bottles from the Alliance Forts, right? Addy, thank you for the goldies. Appreciate you, dude. I hit my weekly cap. Oh, yeah. I probably hit the weekly cap. I forget what the weekly cap is. Like 15k or something now? Bat side up. No wrapping until after the stall. Cider vinegar is the spray. Season with only salt and pepper. Hashtag Jeff Hooksy. Yeah, so my game plan was fat side up. I'm on a pellet smoker. The Traeger. I forget, it's the Ironwood XL, I think. I'm going to do it on the, the upper rack. Following the advice from Meat Church. That's right. Your boy Cheese takes advi advice from Meat Church. Uh, I'm going to wrap after the stall, which presumably will be around 170 to 175 internal. Well, what am I using? I have hickory. I also have a little bit of leftover pecan that I'm going to just blast through. Uh, and then once I get to 203, temperature measured like in layman terms in the middle between the point and the flat is probably when I pull, but obviously I gotta like, we gotta get the jiggle, you know? And yeah, 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 salt and pepper. I'm just gonna do salt and pepper, like a 50-50. But you pepper first, otherwise your salt makes the pepper bounce off, theoretically. I don't think I'm gonna do a binder. Wrap after the stall, someone's been studying his videos, I see. I'm telling you, bro, it's a, it's a cult out there. It's a gosh darn cult out there. All I want to do is make a brisket. Hickory is good. You usually use applewood or cherry these days. How many resources do I need before KVK1? One or two bill of each? Yeah, it's not bad guidance. It's just hard to get in a KVK1 kingdom though. 
Okay, just level with me. If you don't record your brisket, I assume it's not that good. No, I only made one brisket so far. This is gonna be my second. Like, it's not like I've made a lot of briskets. We need picks. Do I have a picture? Do I actually have a picture of the last one? I had a great smoke ring on that. It's actually shocked. I was like, oh, damn. Actually executing over here. Uh, I don't think I took a picture. All I have is Disney pictures. So many Disney pictures. Holy cow. A short would be good. All right, keep 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 it real. Keep it real with me. Do you actually want a YouTube short about the brisket I'm cooking? Keep it, keep it 100 with me. Actually care about this or nah, bro? I feel like the cultists out there are going to go, hell yeah. Then everybody else is going to be like, bro, please just stop talking about food. You getting ads for AFK Journey now? So for those that don't know, AFK Journey is made by Lilith. And it's like the sequel to AFK Arena. It's kind of like... AFK Journey is to AFK Arena as Call of Dragons is to Rise of Kingdoms. Holy cow. It's been a long time since I did one of those. How high is the cap? I don't actually understand that question. And when do you... Uh, so I... How high the cap is and when it resets? Give me a little more context. I don't even know if we're talking about brisket anymore or Rise of Kingdoms. Save me. Stop talking about AFK Arena. Please talk about briskets instead. Ah, Ed I see Ed McCray Music is absolutely going to be making my first one this summer. Need to see what happens so I know what to do. I believe it resets on Sundays and it's like 15,000 action points. Chiskel Smokes, new YouTube channel. I'm actually surprised 84, 85% of you want to see it. All right. This is now a cooking channel. I remember Dragothian was kind of going to do a cooking channel at one point. He's actually got uh, some training, I believe. Would love to see more Age of Empires mobile. All right, Poggers. Good to know. Look cool. I do really enjoy food a lot, honestly. Um, my dad really enjoyed food. And my grandmother, well, I mean, if you, if you visited my grandmother, like you were leaving full, you were, you were leaving that house beyond the full point. Like you've never been more full in your life. And if you, if you weren't more full than you've ever been in your life, she'd be worried whether or not you understand she loves you, you know? Don't you understand? Cooking streams are so fun. Here's the thing, though. Like, brisket is a, like, 24-hour cook if you include resting time. Like, it just it takes forever, man. It's long due, chat says. Wait, Yuda. Is, is this you? Wait, is this who I'm talking to this whole time? Is this you? This Yuda? 
Oh no, you're in KVK1. Okay, just kidding. JK. Wrong guy, Lamau. <laughs> Annoying Age of Empires mobiles coming August 18th. You were about to download it. Yeah, it's, it's launching in different regions at different times. So it's in beta um, right now. So se like 75% of people want to see this brisket I make. La Mao or L M N O. Loved your Age of Empires mobile vid. Would love to see more. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I kind of pronounce it funny. I kind of learned that from Tectone. He's a big uh, Twitch streamer. My funny pronunciation of Lamau comes from being a Tectone enjoyer. And that phrasing, calling myself an enjoyer, I learned from uh, Omniarch. I thought that was pretty funny. I think he called himself an Asmongold Enjoyer. Maybe he called himself a Tectone Enjoyer, actually. I don't know. Will AFK Journey be worth it? I don't actually know. But it's ranked number one for role-playing games right now. When I looked at it, I mean, it kind of reminded me of Dragonair Silent Gods. Like, you have a squad... You power up that squad and you move around a world with your squad, but it's ranked really highly. Um, it is still very new. It's like a week old. Thing is still a baby. Yuda says, I hope this makes you check my power and also I'm being generous and joy. Well, hey, thank you for the super chat, Yuda. Um, do I have your coordinates, man? What are your coordinates? We'll check coordinates for cash, dot, dot, dot. We didn't enough people to write him this so he can do more content in the future, chat says. Kind of true, actually. I mean, I'm always looking at what chat's saying. What's the feedback, man? You know? I really love this song. I made a video of my one of my favorite KVKs using this song. It was pretty sweet. Damn, those Asher Benopal rallies just getting pushed around, bro. Damn. Why do I have to wait so long? I want to download Age of Empires Mobile now. So the way you can download it now is by using a VPN to a different region. But you may run into issues actually buying things when you're in a different region in the App Store. I think I had to make a new account in Google. New Gmail account. And then I had a VPN over to one of the regions of the world where the game is available. It's in France, Indonesia, and uh, Philippines, I believe. What happened to Loak? Uh, bro, he's chilling. He's chilling. He got rallied, but he kind of clapped the rally. And by kind of clapped, I mean 27k dead to 670,000 dead, so... Rallies do be like that in Call of Dragons, man. Better know what you're doing. Yuda says enjoy lol here. 
Wait, what, what are the coordinates? Where Where is here? I need I need these coordinates up here, broski. Is Skippy Honda still good? Yeah, it's still good. I wouldn't invest in Honda, though, in 2024. That's like a huge yikes. Um, we're... Here, you say those are? I don't know if it's... Sh Dude, I don't know if it's, like, just not showing me your coordinates. Or what? Like, maybe you can see them and I can't? Weird. Are you in Kingdom 3411? I don't know if I could find you, though. I don't know how I'd find you. Gordy, thank you for confirming I'm not blind. You also can't see them. Sovo, welcome back to the Epic Guard, bro. I appreciate you, man. Actually, you're new to the Epic Guard. Okay. Hey, yo, let's get those hype emojis for Sovo. New to the Epic Guard. Okay, there we go. We got the coordinates, baby. Let's go check out Yuta. 658... 627. The name of this song? It's Moon Dance. Oopsies. Not what I wanted to do. Thought that was a slider. Um Yeah, it's Moon Dance on the album Moon Dance. Okay. Uh okay, here's Yuda. Almost 10 mil power. Hey, yo, 5 mil KP. All right, young account. Very poggers. Very young account. Still has not selected someone to be their constable. You uh, may want to switch Sun Tzu if that's your city wall as Martel Sun Tzu. Make him the constable, broski. What else can I peek? You hid the talents. That's smart. DK. Hey, I appreciate you, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, what alliance are you in? Oh, man, not even a billion power. I miss the early game. Those were the days, man. Yo, Lizard Jesus. Honda bad investment even at four plus marches? I mean, he's pretty versatile, but like... If you already have him, yeah, use him. But if you don't already have him, then I wouldn't start working on him. I would not start working on him. Yeah, so we were just in this King's Land kind of looking around. However, my friends, it's time for me to go and get this brisket rolling. We got to go pick it up, prep it, blah, blah, blah. Got to be ready for dinner tomorrow, you know? If you enjoyed the stream, throw a like on here. Consider subscribing. I'll be back. I don't know, maybe with another stream this week? Because uh, we're going to get KVK matchmaking and then allies. So I'll have a video to make about who we're allied with hopefully soon, you know? Until next time, my friends. You have fun smashing the kingdom. If you missed my Age of Empires mobile video, go check it out. You might enjoy it. Alternatively, you want to see some Call of Dragons, little rally situation. I made a video about that earlier today, all right? Take care, everybody, and I'll see you soon.